Dragon news is not dead and there are so much news I didn't news report but it was because I was focusing on uploading all my pre-recorded gameplay videos that took me a year and finally I just finished uploading them all today. And this is not a magnet type video but this is me combining news together like how I did in my news report post in Amino back then. Let's tackle all the news. Nintendo Direct occurred on June 18, 2024 and it was a blast. The sequel to the Mario & Luigi series was revealed and it was Mario & Luigi Brothership. The graphics is totally different here and more 3D compared to the prequels and despite one of the companies who created the series, Alpha Dream, who shut down back on October 1, 2019 due to bankrupt. But now this is no remaster of the old Mario & Luigi games, this is finally the sequel we've been waiting for, Mario & Brothership. Mario and Luigi Brothership releases on November 7, 2024. My friends Shoshiri Chicken and Cass talked about it in our Nick Fancy X Discord server. Other stuff that were revealed in Nintendo Direct was Zelda finally having her own game for the first time, which is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, releasing on September 26, 2024. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond gets a reveal of its gameplay, and the game is looking great, especially like Samus Aran. Well, of course, her pretty face was not shown. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection is totally confirmed it's releasing on Nintendo Switch. The fighting collection contains these games. Finally, for the first time ever, Donkey Kong Country Returns will release on the Nintendo Switch and it is called Donkey Kong Country Returns HD, another remaster. It will release on January 16, 2025. A new free update for Nintendo Switch Sports is the addition of Basketball. No release date revealed, but releasing later this year was only mentioned. The next Mario Party game is finally revealed, and it is Super Mario Party Jamboree. It is releasing on October 17, 2024, and other stuffs revealed in the Nintendo Direct. Perhaps there's one thing revealed in the Nintendo Direct, but the other way around. Breaking news because in the Japanese version of the Nintendo Direct that was also live stream on June 18, 2024, Eggy Party, the same video game I just finished uploading all pre-recorded gameplay videos, Eggy Party is releasing on June, I, I mean on July 19, 2024. This is my first time news reporting Eggy Party in Dragon News, and so it was my friend Henta who from Eggy Party who shared the news by sending the link in her server in excitement. And I was confused because Mr. Chicks and Cass would have told me Eggy Party was in the direct. So I asked them and Mr. Chicks was confused. It turns out Eggy Party coming to Nintendo Switch was only revealed in the Japanese version of the Nintendo Direct. I do not know why Eggy Party was not featured in the English version but you all may think Eggy Party for the Nintendo Switch may not release on global because of the Japanese promo video. It is releasing on Global and perhaps Henta who showed in the server that Eggy Party Global CO with English writing of their community post revealed that Eggy Party is really indeed releasing on July 19, 2024. This is a big celebration for Eggy Party. More players will come to the game and I'm pretty sure this is crossplay like Minecraft Bedrock Edition with mobile devices and the Nintendo Switch. Although the problem with Bedrock Edition is you get to multiplayer with mobile players if you pay a membership. That's for the Nintendo Switch. And with that being said, I'm not sure if Eggy Party Nintendo Switch players will be able to play with mobile users. One of my friends told me that my ex has a new Nintendo Switch, the OLED. The same ex who hates me and the same ex who introduced Eggy Party to me with her name going under the name Jinji in Eggy Party. And she quitted Eggy Party before. I mean like before she broke me up. So I'm certain she will re return to Eggy Party because of this. Although me who is Nikki in the game Eggy Party, I'm not really sure if I will be there to see her return. And 
I'm not sure if there will be ways to let your mobile account be played in the Nintendo Switch version of Eggy Party. League of Legends Wild Rift was supposed to release on consoles, including Nintendo Switch. I wish they are still working on it because Eggy Party coming to the Nintendo Switch is something I didn't didn't expect. I have also always wanted to news report Eggy Party and Dragon News, but it won't be me news reporting everything about Eggy Party to keep everything balanced. The second trailer for the Penguin was released on June 20, 2024, but what is interesting is recently a new character is revealed to be named Eve Carlo, though she does not exist in the DC comics. Wait a minute, Carlo? The real name of Clayface's human version is Basil Carlo, and Carlo is his surname, his last name. And remember the rumors that the Batman 2 movie is going to include Clayface, but these rumors were shut down by James Gunn. Now whoever is Eve Carlo, whether it's a wife or a relative of Basil Carlo, this just confirms that Clayface is somewhere in Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe. Back in a Dragon News video, the first Throwback Thursday video, Riot Games confirmed that a mysterious champion was on the works and it is a Vastayan. To those who don't know, Vastayan is a hybrid of a human and an animal like Ari and a fox. So I've been wondering when will we see this Vastayan champion and she is finally revealed to be Aurora on June 20, 2024. Although she was like a month ago. Just now we get to see her officially. After all the animal hybrid of Aurora is a bunny, a rabbit and it's been confirmed Aurora has autism so interesting. Aurora is set to release alongside the new upcoming at 14.14 on July 12, 2024. I am glad Aurora, the hinted Vastayan champion, is finally revealed. Ryan Gosling might be the Ghost Rider in the MCU. The reliable scoopers confirmed this. Ryan Gosling also appeared somewhere in my Roblox video. But I have him more highlight in this YouTube short. I don't know what I was doing back there. The official FNAF account tweeted a tweet on June 19, 2024, reminding that August 8, 2024 is the 10th anniversary of FNAF, and as well as each days of August getting revealed for stocks. Then the next day, it was revealed with them tweeting another tweet on June 20, 2024, revealing a handful list of what's gonna happen. But what caught the attention of people the most is the August 6 part, especially it being mentioned a collab. Fortnite is releasing the upcoming new 30.40 update on August 6, 2024 and it is rumored that a FNAF X Fortnite, Fortnite collab is finally happening after years of being rumored. If this is not about Fortnite, what a big coincidence indeed. And for whatever other collab could it be since for years FNAF X Dead by Daylight is what fans have also been waiting for. This is big news. Ever since the first Puss in Boots movie was released, fans have been wanting a donkey movie. Even me, I know that it would be lovely. Now it's confirmed that finally a donkey movie is happening and the same voice actor Eddie Murphy exclusively confirmed this on Collider two days ago. The same day on June 25, 2024, I saw the tweet of discussing films being tweeted minutes ago, but of course I couldn't make a Dragon News video since I plan to combine all my missing news. And so instead I decided to still screenshot, but their tweet became one hour ago. What's even more interesting is Eddie Murphy confirmed on the same day that he started recording his voice lines for Shrek 5, and he feels Shrek 5 could release in 2025. Another 2025 movie? Oh my gosh, I mean that year is 2025, number 5. The same year 2025 will have Superman the first DCU movie, Fantastic Four movie of MCU, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, and more. 
Remember, in the ending of the second movie of Puss in Boots, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, him and the gang are on their trip to far, far away, with Puss in Boots telling them he wants to meet his old friends. And then the nostalgic Shrek theme plays. And that is how beautifully the movie ended. And the hype, especially with people who got hype seeing it on cinemas, the ending, and the hype for Shrek 5 after years had finally started. This is another big news and we finally got more set photos of Superman that started appearing two days ago on June 25, 2024 and still going on every single day. And the costume got even better! If you look at the first Superman costume and then these new set photos, by the way every day we keep getting new Superman set photos. Really, so this is exciting. The first revealed photo and this new set photos are really different. In my Dragon News video about the Superman suit reveal, I was hyped but afterwards I noticed not everyone likes the suit. They described the suit to be baggy in terms of Superman's suit being loose to him and the dark blue color that matches Henry Cavill Superman. Now in these set photos, David Gornsweet looks so fit. This actor has been working out for Su Superman and he really looked perfect at bodybuilding. It's just I didn't news report his progress. You can see the logo looks adjust and the color is now light blue. Something I always wanted for Superman in live action. And I don't know if I mentioned in my drag news video about the first Superman Superville photo but I've been dying on wanting to know if James Gunn will put the yellow Superman logo on the back of the cape like what Superman is in the comics. And since an old comic used to announce the DC Superman movie had Superman with his yellow logo at the back of his cape. And so finally, the yellow logo is there. And I'm just very happy how comic accurate DC Superman is. Before the actors of Lois Lane posted before on Instagram, the, the bottom part of Superman's cape, so I was wondering if that yellow logo is just up there. And finally, in the set photos, it is. There are so much set photos coming every day. People just kept taking pictures because it's easier now and the cast keep getting spotted. Mr. Terrific also looks great. I'm not sure if we'll see set photos for Guy Gardner Green Lantern, the Shira Sanders Hall version of Hawkgirl, and Metamorpho, but we saw set photos of Superman as Clark Kent, which I like the disguise of him to not look like Superman. A set photo with the engineer one month ago, engineer had set photos with the same costume. Rick Flag SR Senior is also here and this mysterious character with a mask with the letter U arresting Superman with handcuffs. People are assuming this is Ultraman, the one with the mask, the clone of Superman in the comics. And it was once rumored that Ultraman is in the DCU Superman movie but James Gunn shut down those rumors. People are saying it could be Nail Queen, also known as Ulysses, who is also a Superman villain in the comics. And anyways, what's funny is people wondered if the mask actor is Ultraman, then they can use Henry Cavill, which would be very surprising because both Henry Cavill and David Corrin Sweat look the same, and that would be a great idea if Henry Cavill is Ultraman in the DCU. Every day we kept getting set photos for DCU Superman again and again, and this is what wraps the Dragon News video. And anyways, thank you guys for watching.